study section four, introduction. This unit introduces you to the different types of marriage that exist across cultures and societies. Learning outcomes of study session four. When you have studied this session, you should be able to identify and explain types of marriage, differentiate between dowry and bride price, explain the functions of marriage. Marriage. Marriage is a publicly recognized, more or less permanent alliance between a man and woman. In most societies, the families of the partners have a role in establishing the relationship often choosing the mate and at least manifesting their approval of choice, and participate in the rite of passage which constitutes the former marriage. Pale, 1976, 138. The marriage, according to Pale, legitimizes sexual access and the children which result have inscriptive place as members of their parents' families. Essentially, there are two major types of marriage, monogamy and polygamy. Monogamy is the marriage of one man to one woman. It is statistically the most prevailing form in many societies, including polygamous societies. Okay, 1984. Polygamy means the plurality of marriage. The marriage of one individual to two or more spouses. Polygamy is in two forms. Polygyny is the marriage of one man to two or more women. And polyandry is the marriage of one woman to two or more men. Polygamy is the preferred form in many societies. However, it does not follow that every married individual or even the majority of the married men has more than one spouse. In fact, in such societies, monogamy is statistically the prevailing form. There is another form of polygamy known as group marriage, which is a combination of polygamy and polyandry. In this case, groups of men and women enjoy more or less equal conjugal rights over each other. Polygyny is mostly practiced in African societies but it is found in many other societies throughout the world. It is not, however, permitted in Western and other highly industrialized societies. Nevertheless, there is some evidence that certain individuals or groups practice it secretly within these societies. Okay, 1984. Polygyny in Africa societies, as in most other societies that practice it, is a mark of a man's high social status and wealth today in Nigeria. However, the value orientation of the people is changing gradually. A large number of wives, children are no longer viewed as a mark of high social status by the young and educated. There is further indication that the stiffening economic conditions are changing this preference. Polyandry is rare. It is, however, found among the Toda of India and the Tibetans. These two societies practice fraternal polyandry, that is, a situation where the husbands are brothers. When a woman marries a man in these societies, she becomes, in principle at least, the wife of all his brothers, both the living and those yet unborn. It is common in this type of society to find a set of brothers in a single living unit with just one wife. Paternity in this instance does not lie with the biological father, genitor, but with the social father, pater, whose status is confirmed with a ceremony in the seventh month of pregnancy. Okay, 1984. In case of non-fraternal polyandry where the men belong to different relatives or clans, if the men live in different villages, the woman usually depends about one month with each in turn. In this form of polyandry, paternity is often decided by giving the bow, 
the first man to give the bow claims the first two or three children and the sequence is then followed. This arrangement often leads to disputes and brickering. Hence, fraternal polyandry is often preferred. Polygyny and polyandry marriages, affinal marriage, leverate and sororate. An affin is a relative by marriage. But at times, marriages to affairs take place especially in the case of death of one's spouse. The expression of this fact is found in the custom of leverate and sororate, the two patterns of culture widespread in non-Western societies. Okay, 1984. The main function of the custom is to ensure the continuity of the family or to allow procreation for people who are still young. Leverate is the custom whereby a man marries his elder brother's widow, his deceased brother's wife. At times, a man may marry his father's widows, other than his own mother, or those widows who are senior to his mother. Such marriages often involve the younger wife or wives of his deceased father. In African societies, it is not unusual for a man to marry a girl of the same age as his children and thus, when he dies, the transfer of these wives to his older sons is no problem. In sororate case, a man marries the sister of his deceased wife, provided she is not already married. Sororate is most common where a considerable bride price has been paid and the wife's family feels obligated to provide another mate for their son-in-law. In most cases, the new wife is a young woman capable of producing offspring and performing all her wifely duties. A marriage to a brother-in-law as Stewart, 1973, observes keeps up a tie of friendly alliance between the two families, which is an important function of marriage. Marriage institution, according to Leach, 1968, performs certain functions in the society which include establishing the legal father of a woman's children, establishing the legal mother of a man's children, giving the husband or his extended family control over the wife's sexual services, giving the wife or her extended family control over the husband's sexual services, giving the husband or his extended family control over the wife's labor power, giving the wife or her extended family control over the husband's labor power, giving the husband or extended family control over the wife's property, giving the wife or her extended family control over the husband's property, establishing a joint fund of property for the benefit of the children, establishing a social significant relationship between the husband and the wife's domestic groups, bride price and dowry. Okay, Olorun and Akinola, 1996. Defined by price as a married payment made by a prospective husband or his family to the family of the bride. The payment serves many functions. It symbolizes the socio-economic statuses of the families to be united maritally. It also establishes an economic tie between the families of the bride and the groom to ensure the stability of the marriage and that of providing a bride with a means of replacing her by her daughter-in-law. Dowry, on the other hand, represents a gift in money or goods of both made by the bride's family toward the establishment of her husband. It was mostly practiced in Europe among the upper economic stratum. The custom has now largely disappeared and has been replaced by the modern custom of providing a bride with household equipment and stock of new clothing. Okay, Olorun Timeyin and Akinola, 1996. In Nigerian society, though bride price is still commonly in place, it has also been modernized. The concentration is on the couple relatives 
friends and well-wishers who provide goods or presents in various forms to strengthen the financial base of the new couple. In some cases, where payments are still demanded by the bride's family, this is usually a token or just symbolic payment, often returned to the new couple. Bride price in whatever form functions as initial evidence of the economic support, cooperative and generosity which a man owes to his wife's close relatives and the promise of the future assistance as occasions may warrant. It is important to add that married couples are sometimes free to choose where they want to live as husband and wife. Some of the patterns of marital residence are patrilocal, matrilocal, neolocal, avoncolocal, and bilocal, adherent to 2001. Marital residence is patrilocal when the married couple lives with or near the husband's parents. However, the arrangement in which the newly married couple resides with the wife's parents is known as matrilocal. Where the couple chooses to reside separately and independent of either of their parents, it is called neolocal. Avoncolocal residence occurs where couples live with or near the husband mother's brother. A marital residence is biolocal, where both couple lives with or near either the husband's parents or the wife's parents, with each couple making their own decision as to where to live. Bride price, divorce. It is often assumed that marriage ought to be a permanent lifelong affair. However, Increased instability in the marriage institution often leads to termination of the union. Although marriage is universally conceived tie, nevertheless, all known human societies have also provided some means, easy or difficult, of terminating unsuccessful marriages. No society approves of divorce in principle or encourages it, but all societies in practice, recognize that certain conditions make it better to dissolve problem marriage than have it continue since it may compromise or endanger the well-being of the members of the family and become a nuisance to the society. Okay, Olorun and Akinola, 1996. Although reasons for divorce vary from one society to another, however, some of commonly recognized grounds for divorce include incompatibility, adultery or infidelity, childlessness or sterility, sexual impotence or unwillingness, laziness, non-support, economic incapacity, quarrelsomeness or nagging, mistreat or cruelty, health problem, divorce. Study session summary. In study session four, you have learned that marriage is a publicly recognized alliance between a man and woman. Such alliance grants sexual access and confers on the children a special place and right in their paternal or maternal lineage. Marriage can be monogamy or polygamy. Monogamy is most popular in most societies, while polygamy is mostly practiced in Africa and other Asian or Arabic countries. Polygamy is composed of polygyny, man married to more than one wife, and polyandry, woman married to more than one man. Further discussion shows that leverage and sororate have their social functions aside the major functions marriage performs in societies. Whichever marriage is contracted, couples may reside with the husband's parents, patrilocal, wife's parents, matrilocal, stay far away from both parents, neolocal, among other types. End of study session 4. Thank you for listening. <music>